The engine has air inlet and exhaust valves. Opening and closing of these valves in proper sequence draws in air and expels combustion products. The piston assists in drawing air into the cylinder, compressing the air, transferring gas forces to the crankshaft and expulsion of exhaust gases. From the top dead center, the piston moves in a downward direction with the air inlet valve open and exhaust valve shut. The air enters into the cylinder from atmosphere. Some engines use turbocharger to introduce air into the cylinder at a pressure higher than atmospheric pressure. At the end of suction or induction stroke, the cylinder is full of air and suction valve is closed. In compression stroke, piston moves up from bottom dead center with the valves closed. So, air in the cylinder is compressed as the piston approaches the top dead center. At the end of compression stroke, the pressure in the cylinder is in the range of 80 to 90 bars. High pressure fuel is injected into the cylinder in the form of fine spray. The fuel ignites and combustion takes place. The pressure and temperature inside the cylinder rise during combustion. The gases inside the cylinder expand moving the piston down. This is the expansion stroke or power stroke. 